Hi, I'm Mike Butler. And I'm Mike Field. And I'm gonna f*** you up. Uh, he's quoting nobody. He, this, that's from the movie Nobody. Yeah, sure I am. All right, welcome back to another episode of Now Renting with Forgotten Cinema. We are talking about the movie Nobody starring Bob Odenkirk. Mike, as you know, we like to do our three things each that we think people should rent this movie on row eight. What's your number one? Bob Odenkirk. Hey! Uh, obviously, Bob Odenkirk is great. He's known as a comedy writer. He's written SNL, uh, The Simpsons, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, but in this movie, he's a straight up action star. Obviously, he's a, a different kind of action star. He's not quite John Wick. Uh, my Bob Odenkirk is my number one as well. Uh, I would say also he's also in Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. So it's not just comedy. Uh, as you have. Uh, well, it's more like a dramatic right, right. kind, like a black. I got kind you. Of I got thing. you. Yeah. I think the fact that he's an everyday man, like somebody who he's supposed to mirror maybe us or people that live a suburban lifestyle that maybe are frustrated about things. Also, I, I love how you talk about these type of films that are popular now, like the John Wick style. These are vengeance films. And these films were popular in the 70s with the Death Wish series. Uh, but yes, no, Bob Odenkirk does a really good job uh, as portraying this man, even though he's not technically an everyday man, every man kind of guy. He is, you know, somebody. He's an who, auditor. Right. He obviously has a history. Mike, what's your number two? My number two would be the fighting. This kind of new form of like fighting and kind of sticking to the action. It's like every time you see him get beat up or, or, or hit another guy, it's like, oh, 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 uh, both for what he's giving and taking. Uh, and I think it's it's kind of a refreshing, interesting take on the fight scenes where every punch kind of matters and it's not so stylized. It's kind of rough and tumble. And I think that's really great. Love the energy with those sound effects. My number two is the actual bus scene in and of itself. The the scene when, as I quoted before, as the top of the show, he just lets loose on these five guys, five, six. I think it's five yeah, guys. And he yeah. just like, he takes a pounding, but he gives a pounding. So I, I think that that was something that I really, that scene, you're just like, yes, let's go. And I think that scene's really well done. There's a lot of great action in that scene. There's a lot of moments, as Mike said, where you're going, ooh, like that, especially when he breaks that guy's arm. Oof, that's bad. <laughs> uh, but I really like that scene. Mike, what's your number three? My number three is Christopher Lloyd. Oh, Doc geez. Brown's back. You know, it's, it's just great to see Christopher Lloyd back in a role, and he's clearly having fun with it. It's just a fun role. I, I love me some Doc Brown, so <laughs> I just thought it was great seeing him in the film again. <laughs> what's your number three? My number three is the story. Uh, I know it's obviously going to be compared with John Wick, which obviously, you know, it should be. I think there's another story within like an I want to see another I want to see a sequel. Oh, yeah. The backstory of nobody is really, right. really interesting. I mean, you, you I want to see, you know, what happens with this character. I like the character uh, that that Odenkirk plays. I I actually want to see more with the family. So I enjoy just the world they set up. Uh, so I'm interested to see if they do another one. I kind of hope they do. And so. The, my, my reason for making that number three is you should see this movie just in, when they do have more movies than you've seen the original. You know what I'm saying? Nobody again. More <laughs> nobodies? I don't know. So you're obviously on row eight right now. So click that rent slash buy button and rent this movie or buy it uh, and enjoy it at your leisure. You can find row eight obviously on the Roku store and everywhere else where uh, I guess apps are streaming. Row eight.com. Who are we, Butler? We are Forgotten Cinema, a podcast about forgotten films that seem to be forgotten by audiences, whether it be because a more popular movie was released at the same time or the film simply didn't catch on with audiences in its initial run. We discuss what we love about the movie, maybe don't love about it, but we always recommend you revisit it. You never know. You might find your own forgotten gem you can find us at forgotten cinema podcast or wherever you listen to podcasts spotify apple music google play whatever we're there find us and thanks for checking out the show i am mike field i'm mike butler this has been now renting with forgotten cinema brought to you by row eight so now if you don't excuse me i'm gonna go ride some buses pick a flight all right <laughs>